Dr. Lisa Ollier, the Chief Medical Officer for Obstetrics and Gynecology for Texas Children's Health Plan. We're getting together today so that we can talk about flu vaccination during pregnancy. Flu vaccination during pregnancy is incredibly important. Not only does the flu vaccine reduce complications for your pregnant patient, but the flu vaccine also reduces complications for the fetus and the newborn. As you know, the American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, and the Advisory Committee for Immunization Practices all recommend that every pregnant woman receive a flu vaccination during her pregnancy. The flu vaccine is safe during all trimesters, including the first trimester. So for those women who are early in pregnancy now during flu season, absolutely go ahead, give that flu vaccine. Pregnant women can receive either the quadrivalent or the trivalent vaccines. The nasal spray vaccination is not being recommended this year, but it's really important to remember that pregnant women should never receive the nasal spray vaccination because it contains live flu virus. So how does the vaccine help the mother? Well, we know that pregnancy places a woman at increased risk for severe complications from the flu. Physiologic adaptations associated with pregnancy increase a woman's risk of adverse complications, including pneumonia from the flu. The flu vaccine prevents a woman from acquiring flu. In some situations, when a woman does acquire the flu despite vaccination, the vaccination can reduce the severity of her illness. The vaccine also benefits her fetus and her newborn. Several recent studies have demonstrated the decreased rate of preterm birth for women who are vaccinated against influenza and also have documented a decrease in the rate of stillbirth. So while many women may decline the vaccine when thinking about themselves alone, it's important for our patients to know that a flu vaccine during flu season has been shown to reduce the risk of stillbirth. Finally, the flu vaccine also helps the newborn. As you know, newborns under the age of six months cannot receive their own flu vaccine, placing this particular group at risk. Their immune systems are not fully developed and are not capable of adequately protecting the infant. Vaccination of the mother during pregnancy is associated with the development of anti-influenza antibodies in the mother. These antibodies cross the placenta and can be found in the fetal bloodstream. These antibodies are effective in reducing the risk of influenza for the newborn. In fact, studies have shown that women who are vaccinated against flu have newborns with less risk of acquiring influenza and less risk of hospitalizations from complications of the flu. Despite the many benefits of the flu vaccine for both the pregnant woman and for her fetus and newborn, the number of women who receive the vaccine during pregnancy is surprisingly low. Only about half of pregnant women actually receive the benefits of the vaccine. One of the most important things that you can do is educate your patients about the signs and symptoms of the flu. Your patients need to report these symptoms promptly because prompt evaluation of women who report symptoms is essential in achieving the best outcomes for women who do have the flu. Research studies have shown that women who receive appropriate antiviral therapy have better outcomes. In fact, women who receive antiviral therapy within two days of the onset of their symptoms are much less likely to be admitted to the intensive care unit than are women who had antiviral started um, after four days. Antivirals clearly improve the outcome for pregnant women and these medications are recommended for women with fever who report symptoms consistent with influenza. When prescribing Tamiflu for your patients who do have influenza, it isn't necessary to wait until your laboratory results are back. 
when you do write that prescription, the dose is 75 milligrams twice a day for five days. Again, the antiviral agents are useful for pregnant women because they reduce the severity of complications, particularly when they're given within 48 hours of the onset of symptoms. There are many resources that have been created to help you provide the best service to your patients. You can always refer to the CDC website, www.cdc.gov, for additional information. Also, ACOG has developed a specific website to help obstetrician gynecologists provide immunizations in their offices. You can visit their website at www.immunizationforwomen.org for additional information. ACOG's website provides up-to-date information, including how to code for vaccine administration. It's important to remember that the flu shot is a covered benefit for all of your pregnant patients who have Medicaid, and it's also a covered benefit for your patients who have chip perinate. In summary, every pregnant woman in your office should be offered the flu vaccine and should understand the potential benefits not only to her, but to her fetus and newborn as well. Immunization against flu can protect our mothers and our babies, giving us the best possible outcomes. Thank you.